I wish we had more time to talk, but I have urgent information for both of you. What is it, Ahsoka? Lady Bo-Katan and I have located the renegade Sith Lord Maul, and if we move swiftly, we believe we can capture him. The Siege of Mandalore is one of the last large battles in the series Clone Wars. It's all about explaining the final climactic battle for Ahsoka and Captain Rex in the Clone Wars and how that time period parallels and crosses over with the film Revenge of the Sith. The fans have been clamoring for it ever since we stopped making Clone Wars. They've been so loyal. I just wanted to make sure that we could do it to a level that, that they would feel was honoring Clone Wars the right way. And I think we've done some of our best work. I was hoping for Kenobi. Why are you here? As much as I, the Obi-Wan versus Maul fight was brief, I wanted this fight to be big. It got me thinking, and I, I've known Ray for a while, why don't we bring Ray in and do some motion capture? He could be Maul, you know, one more time physically fighting. So when we see Maul fighting, it's going to be really Maul fighting. Amazing to play Darth Maul again. We've just been hitting it hard, you know, coming up with some new stuff. It's been really nice. We're trying to do as much as we can, you know, butterfly twists and flips and corkscrews. You know, that'll be fun. We get the speed of Maul, we get moves that are inherent to Ray. Ahsoka Tana? No, oh, you have Kenobi's arrogance. You'll find I have many qualities for you to dislike. And then I'm finally taking Ray's performance and Sam's performance and putting them together. To do that, though, I needed somebody that could, you know, portray Ahsoka physically. I'm really honored to actually work with Ray Park. It's been nothing but a great journey, and we've been collaborating, and the fans will really like this fight. It's really grounded, rooted, but then there's a lot of action-y moves that I think the fans will really like. Lauren was brilliant at really honing in on this style of sword fighting that we wanted Ahsoka to do. Very quick, very acrobatic. It's hopefully one of the best fights we did, if not the best lightsaber fight. Lawrence really fast because she's using two lightsabers. There's a timing, there's a beat. It's like you're dancing, you feel an energy from the other person. That's small. Yeah, it's small. It's small. It's small. Oh, I, so I have goosebumps. Using mocap for the first time, all those sort of subtle nuances that Ray is able to bring to Maul were just so helpful. We can't have it just be mocap. So we had to really take it and kind of make it so it fit within the style of Clone Wars. Faster lightsaber hits, a little higher jumping, stronger poses, things like that that we kind of look for. It's all a collaboration between the voice actors. The only question is, who finishes their mission first? The reference we got from the stage, it's everybody coming together and then the lighting team takes it all to another level. To put this important story that I really wanted to tell down, to not leave that there with just plans and a sketchbook. It feels like a proper ending. <laughs>